Hello, children. How are you all? Recently, you have been enjoying your lockdown holidays. And in the last year also, you have enjoyed a lot of holidays. How was the experience? You stayed at home. You talked to your parents. You have seen a lot of movies, probably in the TV or on the theater or in the cell phone also. So <clears throat> during summer holidays, usually you people go to your relative's place and most probably your grandparents' houses to villages or to other towns or cities. How was the experience? Do you remember something? Your gra grandparents or your great grandparents might have told you about their past, their childhood, their youth, and their experiences also in the past. So what was the condition? What was the uh, means of entertainment during the, their days, their childhood? And how would they enjoy their summer holidays? How would they take their education? How would they be with their friends? All these things you might have discussed with your grandparents. And how would, how were the, what were the, exactly, medium of entertainment for them those days? You might have observed and you might have discussed also. But can you compare those conditions with the conditions which are available to you people now in these days? So you might have observed that, you might have noticed that there are a lot of differences between these two ages. Because now entertainment has no limits. You can get entertainment through TV, different channels in TV, and on computer, through internet, and and on mobile phone also, through internet, you can get more entertainment than your grandparents or parents have got. So there is a lot of difference between these two. And how the entertainment factor or how the entertainment factor has changed the society, how the entertainment factor has changed our lives is the point of discussion in our today's lesson, chapter 22, film and print media. Now, let me introduce you to a girl who went to her great grandfather's town in the summer holidays. Her name is Lata. She wanted to watch the latest film with her great grandfather, Rangaya. Since Rangaya was not well, they talked about their childhood days. He could not come to the theater, so they stayed at home only and they stayed home chit chatting with each other. Since Rangaya was not well, they talked about their childhood, his childhood days. Lata was surprised to know that there were no films in her great grandfather's childhood. They were not at all any movies. Their entertainment was based on. There were performances of various arts like plays, Harikatha, Burrakatha, and Tolubumalata by folk artists. The plays were both Padyanatakam, famous for rendering poems with Lindi Ragas, and Gadyanatakam. Padyanatakam means where people perform only by singing padyams. Every concept was 
performed by presented by singing padyams and gadjanatakam means only dialogues between the roles i mean characters rangaiya vividly recall the experience of watching the play satya harish harish chandra and staying awake until dawn uh the plays theater plays on the stage used to be starting uh, at a time when all people all children were asleep and during 9 or 10 like that and it used to continue the whole night so the other plays he recalled were bhuvana vijayam it was about sri krishna devaraya and his poets kanya shulkam mobili yuddham and varavikram kanya shulkam and varavikram were the um what uh, plays written by gurujada a paro the famous writer and bobbili yuddham these are all uh, these all were uh, the natakams performed on stage people used to watch them and enjoy literally a lot lata has acted in a play that they performed for the school anniversary and has also seen a stage performance lata has earlier acted in a school performance but she was surprised to know that at one time they were the major form of entertainment lata has known play as a uh, as a performance made in schools by children like that but she didn't know that that was the major form of entertainment for children and adults alike there were no movies there were no computers there were no telephones at all during those times she was surprised to know all these things so and and after that no today we are in a age that wherein you can see everything related or everything is connected or everything is referred to cinema movie so you can observe here the camera and the projector camera is used for you know for shooting the scenes of a movie or a, or a play serial and projector is used for projecting the movie or showing the movie on a screen uh probably in those days in the open area there were no theaters in the beginning and after that there were tents for tents for showing these movies there were no theaters as such which you see today we are now in this lesson going to learn about the impact of cinema the evolution of cinema during these 80 to 90 years 70 to 80 years probably because uh no you can see before independence only movies or cinemas have entered into india long before the independence struggle the birth of cinema in india can be attributed to lumia brothers first public show at watson hotel in mumbai on july 7 9 1896 1896 umet of uh, learned about 1885 indian congress birth and 10 years or 11 years later indians have seen first time for the first time a movie uh, at a public show at watson hotel in mumbai in 1887 william free screen of england invented camera capable of taking up to 10 photographs per second using perforated celluloid film in 1895 woodwill ladam invented cinema projector capable of exhibiting lnd film reels without break 
so this was the beginning of movies even in the whole world in 1887 england william freeze green has invented a camera capable of taking up to 10 photographs now you can see you can take movies uh which can i mean even with the help of a camera i mean on a mobile you can take up to uh 30 to 40 frames that is 30 to 40 pictures per second per second using your camera and see only up to 10 photographs per second using perforated celluloid film so that was the condition in 1895 woodwell latham invented cinema projector later first camera was invented then movie camera motion camera was invented and then projector for showing the film was invented while drama is to be performed live with all the instruments for music development of technology has helped in shooting of a play and projecting it at several places at the same time and again and again further the cinema could be shot over a period of time and mixing and editing of the footage can give an entirely different new effect so uh plays are performed on stage instantaneously but the movies were shot over a period of time say 3 to 4 months it used to take for a movie to be created and after that movie for shooting and after that editing and uh, creating music and adding music to it this all took uh, a whole lot of time but that could be storaged that could be stored and could be shown again and again so this was the condition people were new to it new to this experience and they used to enjoy it very well and before the movies uh, in england also george bernard shaw and shakespeare were the uh, versatile playwrights playwrights means those who those people who wrote uh, the process of uh, performing the uh, play on the stage these people's creations were taken as uh, basis for movies creating movies and uh, they were visualized with camera and exhibited on the screen as a film so people used to um, i mean see them on the stage performed by artists or uh, read them in the books they can be now they could be now watched as a film on a screen so movie screen similarly popular plays in it, it, this was a condition in england but what was a condition in telugu area it was like varavikram satya harishchandra kanya shulkam these were the um plays which were again made into movies films so these were also enjoyed a lot but the stage artists made a beeline to the studios for a chance in film those who acted in st on stage in plays these people have moved to films they wanted to act in films so they have made a beeline queue line for acting into movies so the stay, the popularity of plays has decreased significantly slowly and slowly the movies have taken a bigger stage and stage artists have all moved to films so the stage performances plays were have taken a back seat they have significantly um, i mean uh, decreased their uh, performance or people have started um avoiding stage performances they have started seeing only um movies on stage on screen 
in the theaters. So you can say, say plays have um, lost the popularity. However, several film artists who became famous continue to work for the theater, like Gollapudi Marathi Rao, Nasuri Dilsha. Some actors are there who have moved from the movies to the stage. Uh, funny, na? Those people who, the, that there was a condition when people, uh, artists who have acted on stage have moved to films. But now you see people who are working in movies are turning to theater to play uh, stage plays. So you can see a Shakespeare's play being performed, I mean, being uh, performed on a um, stage that you are seeing in this picture. So what are the differences in a stage play and the film? Make a comparative table. With the help of your teacher, discuss the cha changes in the livelihood opportunities from play to films. These are the um, activities you could do in the classroom. Okay. Now we'll move on to the lesson. Lutha was surprised to know that initially the cinema did not have sound. It was all mooky. Those movies were called mookies. They were not talkies. <laughs> Those uh, movies had only pictures. People used to move from, I mean, move around the scenes, but there was no sound at all. Only live musicians used to play the um, play the orchestra and it was incorporated into the music, uh, the movie, but there were no dialogues by the characters. So sometimes by commentary by the projectionist who were presenting the movie, they used to give commentary from behind the screen. It was only after several technical developments that the film had sound and were known as talkies as they could talk. So you can see first it was only slow movies which had no sound except some music except some sometimes some commentary but later on with the development of technology films had also dialogues sounds everything so now we will see the first talkie movie in hindi since uh, first movies were made in hindi only alam ara alam ara you can see the poster of that movie also here in the picture uh, this was made ardeshar this was made by ardeshar irani in 1931 so that was the first movie which was the first movie Alam Ara. The father of Telugu film industry is Raghupati Venkaya. He was born in Bandar. It was in Krishna. It is in Krishna district, Andhra Pradesh. But it is now in Andhra Pradesh. But uh, that area was all in the Madras, uh, um, Madras residency. So he settled in Madras as a still photographer. He built a cinema studio named Gaiti in Madras. As the owner of cinema studios and the theaters and the producer of cinemas, he rendered his valuable services to Telugu industry. Hence, the then government of Andhra Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh awards Raghupati Venkaya award every year along with Nandi to artists for their contributions to Telugu film industry. Raghupati Venkaya Nayadu. He was the major uh, producer, first producer and major producer for so many years after first production. So he was his contribution to Telugu film industry was huge. So on his name, an award is given every year to film artists along with Nandi Awards for their contributions to Telugu film industry. So this is the uh, introduction which I'm giving to you about films and we will see the impact or uh, effect of cinema 
on the minds of people on the society as a form of entertainment in the later videos continue to continue to watch um, later videos thank you